Hello. Today I will be reading Firefighter Ted. Does everyone know what a firefighter is? Or a fireman? And how they keep you safe. So that's one of our community helpers and they keep you safe. So if there's ever a fire at your house, they come and they put the fire out. Okay. So later on, I have a few friends that are firemen. Matter of fact, I have a few friends that are firemen. I know some police officers as well as some state troopers. So the state trooper and the uh, police are they're different from each other. But I'll, I'm going to see if I can get one of them to come sit and talk to you guys over um, the phone. Not the phone, but here on the computer tell you a little bit about what they do okay bring in some guests you guys like that so for right now I'll work on getting us a fireman to come and check us out see what he can do so firefighter Ted this is the front of the book this is the back of the book and remember this is the spine So, Firefighter Ted was written by Andrea Beatty and Rochelle Lemetria. Okay. One morning, Ted woke up and sniffed the air. It smelled like smoke. That's not good, thought Ted. I need a firefighter. Ted looked everywhere, but he couldn't find one. And since Ted couldn't find a fighter, couldn't find a firefighter, he became a firefighter. But every firefighter needs a fire truck. Firefighter Ted searched the house. The kitchen was filled with smoke. It rose from a plate on the table. Stand back, shouted Firefighter Ted. He put out the toast and helped his mother to safety. That was your breakfast, said Mother. It still is, said Firefighter Ted, and now it's nutritious and safe. Go to school, said his mother. Remember, said Firefighter Ted, only you can prevent breakfast fires. Mama don't look too happy right there. It was very hot outside. The sidewalk sizzled and hurt Firefighter Ted's feet. He saw a kitten on the hot sidewalk. It needed help. Fire. Fighter Ted rescued the kitten and two puppies and three tricycles. Firefighter Ted, I think, was being really helpful, guys. The crowd was speechless. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted, and he waved to the crowd. So what do you see on this page? I see a turtle. I think that might be a little poodle dog, an alligator, a bird, the puppies and the dog up in the tree. And then there's firefighter Ted. Let's see what's next. When Firefighter Ted arrived at school, the principal was waiting for him in the hallway. You're late, said Principal Bingham. Firefighter Ted frowned. You're blocking the fire alarm, he said, and he helped the principal to safety. Principal Bingham turned bright red. Watch out, said Firefighter Ted. You're overheating. 
Principal Bingham's face turned redder and redder still. Stop, drop, and roll, said Firefighter Ted, and he helped Principal Bingham to safety again. I don't think Principal Bingham was in trouble, guys. But I don't know about Ted. Principal Bingham was speechless. He pointed to Mrs. Johnson's room. He, firefighter, no need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted. Miss Johnson's students were in the door, were in line at the door, I'm sorry. They were going to the science fair exhibits in the cafeteria. A parade, shouted Firefighter Ted. Firefighters always lead parades. Fighter, firefighter Ted led the parade down the hall. Woohoo! 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 All the other classes came out to watch. Everyone loves a parade, said Firefighter Ted, and he waved to the crowd. Firefighter Ted looked around the cafeteria. There was danger everywhere. Now, you look and see what danger can you see. Um, I don't see any danger, but let's see what Firefighter Ted does. Volcanoes, yelled Firefighter Ted. He jumped into action. Firefighter Ted stopped the volcano from erupting and helped the students to safety. Remember, this was a science fair. They were speechless. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted. Suddenly, Firefighter Ted smelt something burning. A thin stream of smoke rose from Principal Bingham's pants. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen now. The smoke got thicker and thicker. His pants got hotter and hotter. Principal Bingham ran this way and that way. Help, he yelled. Call the tailor, call the janitor, call the library. Just call somebody. The principal's pants were on fire. He just wants you to call somebody. Do you know who do you call? If there's a fire. The firefighter Ted was already there. He helped the principal to safety. He pulled the fire alarm and started the fire sprinklers. Uh oh. Let's see. Just then, the tailor arrived with the janitor and a librarian. You need pants, said the tailor, and a mop, said the janitor. Good thing you had Firefighter Ted, said the librarian. My work here is done, said Firefighter Ted. You can keep the fire extinguisher. And remember, only you can prevent pants fires. That night, Ted put away his fire truck and went to bed knowing he had done a good job. He lay awake for a long time. There was so much to know about fire safety, he thought. A poster would help everyone understand. Ted didn't have a poster, but I could make one, he thought, if I had a paintbrush. So guys, after you read, after you see this book, I want you to take out a piece of paper with the help of mom, dad, or someone. Get a pencil with the help of mom, dad, or somebody. And I want you to draw and tell me what would you do to keep yourself safe from a fire. How about that? We're going to practice some fire safety. Okay, so there's this little song I want to try to teach you real quick. And remember, Miss Donna is not a singer. Okay, 
but the song is about fire safety. So it's, it goes, stop, drop, and roll if your pants are on fire. Stop, drop, and roll if your pants are on fire. Stop, drop, and roll if your pants are on fire. Stop, roll, pants are on fire. This is a safety rule. Got it. Stop, drop, and roll if your pants are on fire. Stop, drop, and roll if your pants are on fire. Stop, drop, and roll if your pants are on fire. This is a safety rule. Okay? All right, guys. I hope you like that book. Ms. Donna's got to go and seek out some more books to read to you guys, okay? Because the library is closed. And most of the stores are sold out of books that you guys will really like because everyone is now online trying to learn all right so with that being said i want to let you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll talk to you soon all right and remember when you see me again after you see this book please draw a picture and, and show me your favorite safety rule that you came up with all right okay talk to you soon bye bye